Okay, so we have four piles, okay, that the, each pile can be your journey, okay? Um, overall, blended messages. Um, we got some past life. Uh, tarot in there. Um, yeah, cause I'm just so excited. Okay, let me calm down. Whew, mom, calm down. Okay, because you know, soul contracts with the these soulmates, you get what I'm saying? They come from past lives. Okay, come from past lives. So, to get some clear messages of where you and your past life situation. Uh, which I went through, which I might experience with some people, a person, a spirit, um, and how that's unfolding in your life today. Um, I just think it's so cool how like we're, we're all coming together. Like this is amazing. So, without further ado, okay, I call in all our benevolent angels and guides our guardian angels, our spirits, our ancestors, our animal spirits, our fairy spirits, okay, our councils of light, okay, the Orisha, the Most High, Mother and Father, Asheray, and Odebudu Marie, I thank you for joining us and surrounding this collective and protecting us as we channel messages for the collective as we talk and dive into some very sacred, sacred uh, information and knowledge that will be so powerful if people apply it. Without a further ado, we thank you. Let's get into it, y'all. Okay? So... What is a contract? Oh, man, oh my gosh. So what is a contract? By definition, a contract is a written or spoken agreement enter into a formal or legal uh, binding agreement, okay? So it's a written or spoken agreement And it's entered into as a legal and binding agreement. Okay, sorry, y'all. I'm again. I'm trying to get all this. Make sure the screen is good. So, a soul contract. What is a soul contract? Right. A soul contract is a relationship between souls decided upon birth. In many belief systems. It is thought that the soul moves through many lives as it tries to reach its highest potential. The guiding lessons of your life are determined before birth and sometimes called a soul contract. Okay? Just to give you, you know, from the start, the root, okay? Soul contracts are karmic relationships between souls. They are a type of spiritual agreement to mutually experience something with another being, which serves a function for both parties. Soul contracts are the terms and conditions for your incarnation and are orchestrated by higher powers and karmic energies. Okay? So, what does a soul contract look like? Or what can it look like? Family, friends, animals and pets, co-workers, plants, lovers, clients, teachers, students, bosses. Soul contracts come in every shape and size. This is where soulmates come from. Okay. So, right there was a bit of information. 
but I want to go back and clarify some things, right? Soulmates solely don't have to be just, again, lovers, right? So, you know, having a pet, okay, can be a soulmate because having that pet um, teaches you lessons, you know, patience, forgiveness, you know, looking after another life, you know, being uh, uh, on time, timing, and, you know, being a, a uh, you know, it could be, a pl again, a plant, okay? A plant being a soulmate. I got some plants in my room. I know you, oh, wait, get back here. No, the camera. Oh, this is all bent around, day. But y'all see it, okay? Um, you know, nurturing. The plant is teaching me how to nurture, how to listen. Um, trust my gut. You get what I'm saying? Be more organized with timing uh, and, well, time. But anyway, but being more organized and and routine and flow. So right here, I want to take the moment to dive into pile number one and just get some clarifying messages, right? Um, we have forgiveness coming out, okay? We have forgiveness, okay? So this is from the past life deck. So this is saying that some of you that connect with pile number one, right? That you could be currently in a situation where you have to forgive, okay? The lesson, the lesson in what you're experiencing right now is calling for you to forgive, okay? Not only yourself, okay? Um, but those that have hurt you and those that you may have hurt, okay? Um, we have true love, okay, coming out. True love. So, you are mine in reverse. So, this is someone that you are no longer with. Your intuition, okay? Your intuition. Your intuition is telling you all that you need to know. Someone that you walked away from that you thought was true love, um, this really hurt you. But you listen to your intuition. Okay, you listen to your intuition and you moved on. Someone wants to come and tell you something. This person, this energy wants to come forward. Oh gosh, let me try to get this. Okay, and wants to tell you something. They're in their head a lot. Thinking about how they didn't value you. It says, intuition, the red flags you ignore will come back to bite you later. You knew this because you're very intuitive, spirit is saying. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Wow, a double confirmation from spirit. So you just got told twice, power number one, that your intuition is telling you what that, that you need to honor, what you're feeling, what you're feeling in your gut. And you did right by walking away from this person. But spirit is saying that you need to forgive this person. You need to forgive 
because this is a soul contract. Boom. Tying it back to today's message, okay? This is your soul contract, okay? Your soul contract. Let me back in. So, that's for power number one, okay? Let's get into power number two. Power number two, okay? So, some of y'all have a connection to Roman, okay? Y'all, past lives. Okay, you could come from this era. You have someone, oh, unrequited love, okay, that has come out. This person, this person is waiting <laughs> or left you feel like you were waiting. Let me clarify that, okay. Caution. party oh wow okay so for power number two someone someone is now waiting okay someone had a problem with gambling with partying okay with partying right okay they were too busy too focused on, yeah, just being in this fiery energy, just being uh, a given player energy, given hoe energy. They want to just have fun. Um, they were trailing you along, leaving you feeling like you needed to wait for them, okay? To wait for them, okay? And you felt like all your love, your your efforts um, were just not reciprocated. There was not enough. You just felt like you weren't enough. This person was making you feel like you weren't enough. Yeah, somebody had a problem with with money, spending money. They were either using you for your money, Spirit is saying, um, or they were stealing from you. They were just, they were leeching off of you, Spirit is saying, okay? Spirit is saying, yeah, you needed to move with caution. Yeah, you were putting in so much work to make this connection uh, tr transform and elevate and grow, right? And this person just really abused a beautiful earth angel. This person can be a Leo, a Aries, a Sagittarius, or you can have those placements in your chart. But spirit is saying, asking you to forgive. And in the beginning, I said that these messages, even though they're four different piles, they seem very well blended. Okay. Because you have forgiveness coming out in pile number one and forgiveness coming out in pile number two. Okay. So this person, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some of you are still with this energy this person that need that that has their ego is out of check their ego is out of check if they are if they're they're in a mature age in their life they move like a child okay and their ego is very um they're very unhealed they haven't done shadow work okay and the gambling comes from uh, again, it's, it's connected to a poverty mindset, right? But this person is a user. This is giving user energy. So spirit is saying that's why the caution card came out, to move with caution, okay? To move with caution, okay? Um, 
and yeah, some of you have already broken away from that situation and spirit is asking you to forgive. I forgive myself, I forgive my family and others for imperfections. Say that mantra, I forgive myself, I forgive my family and others for imperfections, right? Because that frees your spirit and you just repeat that until it feel good, until you really feel that you transmuted that energy into something that you can now utilize, okay? This soul contract right here for group number two, right? So it's not solely just on that party. It's a blending, right? The soul contract. So there's an unbalancement of love, right? Or self-love, right? So you and this soulmate have this soul contract where you will learn more about self-love because you will not stick around and tolerate such disrespect to you when you know your heart, you know who you are, you know how you love, right? <clears throat> um. So... It was a lesson that you two will come down and that party will teach you this. And that party, their soul contract with being out of play, whack with their ego. Okay. And for you, y'all two to come together and them not appreciate you in the now. Okay. In the now. Right. When you leave. This is when they go and dive inward. This is someone who thinks that you will never leave. Okay. This is someone. So if you're in that transitional space, know that you are spirit is assisting and guiding you. And you are breaking free. Okay. Okay. You are breaking free. But this soul contract for some of you is again about self-love, loving yourself, valuing yourself, acknowledging all the beautiful things of self, not settling because someone looks good, not settling because someone promises you the world, but their actions are not in alignment, right? Spirit is saying no more waiting for someone to, no more waiting, no more waiting for someone to give you what you know you deserve. You got to give it to yourself first, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still trying for. There we go. Give it to yourself first. Give it to yourself first. No more waiting. No more waiting for this person and this love that 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 they don't love you. They want to use you. Okay. So this is with that soul contract. This soul contract for power number two. This is what spirit is saying they want to go and party they want to go be a hoe they want to be in everybody's face they want to spend money and flash money that ain't theirs they want to spend money that ain't theirs okay and your heart your heart takes the hit because you're you love truly from your heart space okay but there's some shadow work that you still have to do welcome welcome Yeah. Okay. So for pile number three. Okay. We have angels. Some of you were angels in your past life. Okay. You are earth angel now here. Okay. You are 
assisting the collective. You're assisting creating a new earth. So this already let me know that you can have master life path numbers. Okay. Um, yeah, ascended masters walk with you. Mm. Children. Okay. We have children coming out. Love your life. Your love life is being affected by children. So we have t twin flames. Okay. In reverse. And we have narcissists in reverse. Okay. Fire sign. I'm telling you, these are all blending. Okay. Air sign. Okay. Decision. Right. Criticizing one criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. Okay. So for power number three. These set of soulmates, okay. This is coming in. <laughs> I'm getting a, a few things. Hold on. Let me get these down. Uploads. Someone that was a karmic twin flame that wanted to have children with you. Okay. They were a narcissist. Okay. Some of you actually do have children with these people. They were able, you were able, y'all, y'all co-created life together. Right. Um, I want to get more clarity on this because there's a decision that has to be made whether or not this karmic twin flame and I want to talk about twin flames really separately from soulmates because twin flames is very, is a very intense, um, relationship dynamic because it's it's you basically split in two finding yourself to become whole again and that's a whole different energy dynamic uh uh when you're here in the earth time playground versus having a soulmate okay so twin flames that's why twin flames be very very intense because it's it's the same soul essence of the soul that split itself to find itself to become whole again down here in that way versus two soul two souls um but there's this a decision that has to be made we going with the flow with this y'all welcome 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 y'all this is moments with more first time going live on youtube i'm here um i'm shooting off two different cameras we got the music we got some clarifying messages um, this is something brand new. I wanted to mix um, the overall message and video of the day. You know, uh, I wanted to mix some clarifying messages from spirit in there to just tie it all together. Because each of these piles, if you resonate with any of these piles, you, first of all, we all got soulmates. So you have soulmates, but we're really going to dive into the soul contracts and how these soul contracts are affected with you know the different soulmates that you come across okay so this is very new um and i you know i hope you guys are enjoying it so far that have been tuned in and tuning in i thank you um but for pile number three because i just want to see what is this decision Ooh. yeah okay purpose came out yeah alchemizing the energy okay so you need to make a decision whether or not you're going to settle for this narcissist I'm hearing spirit clear now, okay, with the cards that came out. 
you are a earth angel and your karmic soul contract that you have with this soulmate or these soulmates that you're running across but this twin flame narcissist is for you to know that you have a purpose and settling to be with this energy is going against you because this came out in reverse okay it came out in reverse though and so you got you got the power to alchemize the energy okay by going inward right your ancestors your your guides your spirits are assisting you they are um you and this person y'all have soul ties Y'all have soul ties. So this is a, again, past life situation. This is a soulmate that you have a soul contract with that every, every soul contract, right? Solely doesn't mean that you're going to be with that person, that that's who you're going to end up with, that you're going to marry, that you're going to have kids with. No, you're learning. You're learning a lesson. They're learning a lesson. So you both can elevate and be ready for that perfect match for you, for you, by going through all that you needed to go through to heal, right? Okay, so the criticizing, right? Spirit saying like, no, you, you're stepping to that power of listening to your guides and owning the part that you're playing because you are a very powerful earth angel okay and someone is trying to keep you in a space of indecision but nobody can trap you nobody you have to love you spirit is saying You have to love you. I didn't get a card for this. Yeah, this is why they're pulling me. Oh, did I? Let me take another one. Spirit wants. Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay. oh my God. Yo. Wow. Wow. Look what came out. This is the third. Didn't I say all these messages are tied together? Spirit gave me the upload, y'all. <laughs> this is the third. This is the third separate pile. Forgiveness in one. Forgiveness in pile number two. Forgiveness in pile number three. So somebody in here is very, yeah, y'all off the chain. Power, your energy is powerful forgiveness but it was in the reverse so this is where mm, you're learning you are an earth angel you're re going you're going through these soulmate interactions interpersonal interactions right because you're relearning this is why a child came out as well because right now it's like yeah you know when we come back so we lose all our memories and we got to relearn remember who we all we are but you are a powerful being you are a powerful being oh hit my camera okay spirit wants you to release the shadow release get to the root of why you are sticking around with someone that you know is keeping you stuck in life. <sighs> this energy is like a bit dense. There's there's hurt here. There's heaviness here. There's sadness. 
But spirit is saying your angels and guides are with you. They're with you. They love you. And you're you're not doing anything wrong. You're just learning. You're learning. You're learning. You're learning. But going on this path and choosing to see that there, there is for some, because Bear wants me to make this clear, this twin flame, if y'all are both willing to do the shadow work and look inward with one another, instead of being in a reverse in this narcissistic energy, right? Um, things can be transmuted. And that's for a small few. Because Spirit is saying this person has some tendencies, but there is love there. Where if y'all are really willing to not criticize one another, but learn to love yourselves, each part of yourselves, so y'all can really love each part of one another because you're just reflections of each other. So it's like you're not even getting upset at your, you, well, you are, because again, karmic is a bit different, okay, than soulmates. But these are for some, some soulmates as well, right? That you're, you're seeing yourself reflected back. You're seeing your shadow game reflected back to you. Um, and that can be triggering. So for some, you choosing the decision to leave this narcissist, this narcissistic karmic twin flame soulmate, okay, right? And listening to the inner guidance from your angels, your angels, <laughs> Your guides, okay, right? Oh, this camera. Here we go. You are going to come into union with real love as you walk down the journey of healing. Okay, but spirit doesn't want you to get caught up with that. They don't want you to be focused on that. They want you to be focused on healing you. Okay, um, and getting to the root of why not judging yourself, getting to the root of why you do what you do, you know, when you do it, choose not to do it, whatever, getting to the root of it doesn't mean you have to judge yourself. It just means that, okay, you now know where these behaviors stem from, right? You now are aware what triggers you and why it triggers you because now you can move different, right? You can move different. Um, just knowing that you, you got to the base of, of the problem, the root of the problem. So we're moving on to pile number four. Pile number four, we have love life. This is the from the past life deck. So, yeah, this is a past love life. Okay, so somebody that you were in the past and y'all past lives, y'all were in love, y'all were soulmates. Okay. Okay. Someone wants to come back and reconcile with you. This person from a past life. This, past, this person from a past life, we're looking into pile number four's soul contract right now, okay? Somebody misses you. I miss you. This person misses you. Pile number four. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is a, this is a heavy one. This comes from, yeah, y'all were married in the past life. Y'all had a family together. You will be traveling soon. Okay. You will be traveling soon. 
Mm, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> wow. Challenges. Okay, make a decision. Work on inner healing. Y'all, did, did the decision card not just... Can we take a moment to acknowledge spirit and how spirit be coming out and clarifying? Everything is one. We're all one. It's all oneness here. So it makes sense, but it just be blowing my mind, you know? Spirit be blowing my mind, and I love it. So this soul contract, right? <laughs> Somebody wants to make an offer. This person, this person from a past life, a past life love, wants to come make an offer. Okay, so this is someone who you had been with that you can have recently walked away from. Because this person refused to do inner healing. Right? Um, yeah, they want to come back into your life. They want to come back into your life. They want to come back into your life. But the, the rekindling of that, the returning of that, okay... It's in the reverse. So you're not open to that. And this person misses you. This person wants to take you somewhere. Okay? Or you're about to be going somewhere with someone else for some of you. Okay? And this person is going to see you. Let's read this message, okay? Let's look at this illustration. Beautiful. Be aware of what you are projecting for the qual for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So equally so. The qualities you don't like your are also your own reflections. Did spirit not just come and clarify what I said? <laughs> Ashe, okay. Spirit is like, yeah, y'all are just mirrors. Y'all are mirrors. But this person, I'm hearing that you, like, you're not open. Some of you are not open at all. Some of you are open if they're willing to do the work, but they have to show you because you know who the hell you are. They have to show you that they're doing the work. Um, because you have this inner understanding that like I'm working on me. Is I'm getting one is working on themselves, transmuting, helping, uh, you know, just their bloodline, they're shifting and clearing things, and the other one is not. Um, but you leaving, so this is why this, you leaving, they, they miss you, your eyes, your smile, your voice, your scent, your touch. I'm missing everything. Remember how we, how we connected physically over our lifetimes together. Ding, ding, ding. My life for you is boundless and unconditional. My love for you is boundless and unconditional. I miss you being next to me wherever i go i search for you everywhere so this person has come into this from past life love has come again and so that means that y'all had some more things to clean up y'all had some more karma to turn into dharma in this lifetime okay so this soul contract was like okay you can't get yourself together like we're together we we've come together um and we're not meant to be stagnant in the same place. We Our contract is calling for us to heal, okay? Our relationship. And you, you're you like, nope, deuces, I'm out. Because you are refusing to... Ooh, that was cute. 
<laughs> Thank y'all. Um, you're refusing to do the work. You're refusing to do the shadow work. Okay? So, yeah, you're going to miss me. You're going to miss me. And... Hold on, I just want to get... I did not get... Oh, that's too much. Okay, so, yeah, someone wants to now, again, give you an offer, someone, this person, because whether you resonate with male or female, okay, this message is for divine feminine, right, but there was a divine masculine who just was out of balance with his divine feminine, right, and you leaving has caused him to reconnect with that aspect of himself, right? And now it's like his eyes has opened up to new newness. Um, and they're missing you. And they want to come and give you a love offer. But right now you're not open to that. <laughs> you're not open to that. Because you really want to see if this person has done the work. Okay. Um, and. Yeah. Spirit is saying. In the meantime. You're doing you. You're traveling. <laughs> you're traveling. You know. You're living life for you. And this is also wanting. Making that person want to elevate themselves. Because they see how you are just. Like, spirits like the spiritual awakenings that you have been because we're in this time too where the earth, the energies is splitting. So those who are not willing to do the work are just naturally not going to be in your life. I just saw 4848 on the clock. Okay. So, um, yeah, they're not meant to, they're not going to be four being stability. Okay. Eight being abundant, right? They're not going to be able to be in your blessings okay um because spirit is requiring all souls to do the work those that have done the work are being rewarded those that haven't they're just like this is like yikes you know like you're going to have to really do a lot because now you're getting locked into a certain energy frequency timeline because you're refusing to heal yourself. So let's get back into uh, the message, okay? So, you know, manifesting someone, you know, having a soulmate where you, you might have manifested somebody who was abusive i'm not saying this is right at all okay but this was prior to y'all coming here that this was what both parties knew that it was going to experience and you get here and you walk that experience and you come out of that experience stronger you come out of that experience it might be dark and hard but this is what your spirit knew that you can handle because you are very powerful and there was something there that there was some lesson there was something that you as a spirit said that i we as a collective need to experience this so we we can transmute this energy okay Twin flames, and again, we, we saw it only, we t talked about it, we touched it only because it came out. And so, uh, are not the same as really soulmates. Twin flames happens when, again, a soul splits itself in two and come down on this earth plane in two different vessels 
and go through a very, very intense journey looking for one another, okay? Uh, that's the extreme cat and mouse. A lot of twin flames don't end up with one another in a lifetime. If you run across your twin flame, a lot of times you you guys aren't coming together into union. It's a, it's a okay. Y'all hear the confirmations? I go, Shango. Okay, I will see you, Shango. Okay. That was spirit confirming. For some of you, you have crossed paths with your twin flame. And you will know, there's no question if you've come across a twin flame, okay? There are some soulmates, some soulmates, where it feels like a twin flame, but they're actually a soulmate. They're a false twin flame. But spirit will make it very clear to you. Your soul will make it very clear to you that you have experienced a, a, a karmic twin flame. But again, a lot of that dynamic is you walking away, right? You healing, you doing what you need to do for you. And, you know, each party starts to heal. Okay, so... I just want to iterate that, you know, self-love isn't selfish. Let me say that again. Spirit says, say it again. Self-love is not selfish, okay? So choosing you for these people that forgiveness literally came out again three times, right? You know, choosing you is not, is not bad. I can't find the other one, but... Loving you, walking away, even if that hurts someone else, you do it for you, okay? For those who have children, Spirit is putting this in, those who have children, Spirit wants you to understand that, you know, staying in a toxic environment to give the illusion of family only damages the child and children more okay because now it's, it's everything is being built on a facade okay because children feel love they feel the environments they, they they're tapping into the electric magnetic energy in the spaces they they know what's up okay uh -huh. Confirmations. <laughs> wow, Baba going off. Thank you. Shango is going to war right now. You hear that? Okay. You have spirit guides, ancestors, Orishas that's going to war for you right now in the spiritual realm. They're going to war for you. <laughs> mm. We have more than one soulmate, and I just want to make that clear. Because people be like, oh, soulmate, soulmate, and, and think that there's only one. No, we just ran through a list. It could come in all shapes and sizes, okay? And the lessons can be very big or very, like, small, okay? And how long you guys are even in each other's lives, you know, some people got to stick around longer because the contract is for that. Like when you sign a car contract for 72 months or whatever, the sole contract is 72 months. Some people are just literally a day. But y'all have come, y'all known each other, their soul family, y'all come from a, you know, past life. And y'all interaction, that conversation, okay, shifted something in the non ether okay it shifted it helped move and stir something unlock something in your dna so we have more than one soulmate so don't get caught up with being with just one you may feel a deep connection with them 
because it's a familiar feeling, right? But you are the challenge or the lesson is to grow beyond that. Okay? Because it's about doing the inner healing. Okay? Beyond just feeling attracted, beyond just feeling that, yes, this is so familiar that I don't know why. I just love this person, like, deep. Um, and even though they don't show them, the show me, I know that they love me, but why don't they show me? And why am I hurting? And why are, and is my hurting healing them? And, you know... You start to step back and connect the dots and saying that, like, I love you. And I'm I'm hearing the angels and guys. Yes, this is something from the past. But where you are and the lack that you're choosing not to work on yourself and do inner healing, leaving me hurt. Me diving into myself, okay? I'm diving into why I'm sticking around and why and, and get into the root of it. And damn... That root, whatever it looks like for you, we're not judging. We're not judging it. We just know now. We know it stems from daddy leaving, mom not being present, never hearing I love you, okay? So you chase after these people, these situations to fill these childhood Wounds. This is why, again, childhood came, ch children came out because childhood wounds need to be healed. Okay? Ask yourself, does this person respect me? Does this person value me? Does this person value themselves? Does this person love themselves? How can you truly love another if you don't love yourself? It's a saying that we hear, but really let it seep down deeper. Because you have to love every aspect of you. All the aspects of you. Okay, because none are bad. They just are. They just are. And whatever that you don't like to resonate with, you can just choose to be like, you know what? I don't like tapping into that aspect of me. I'm going to tap into this one. And then I'm going to be aware of when I'm tapping into that manipulative aspect or impatient or you get what I'm saying or self-sabotaging aspect of myself. Okay, why do I why do I self-sabotage? Getting to the root. We gotta get to the root of it. And this is what soul contracts help you do. Soul contracts help you with the divine unfolding. 59.59, which is just on the clock. Okay. The divine unfolding. Because now through these interpersonal experiences that you have with these other spirits and beings, your flower, your seed starts to blossom, right? And growth only happens and when, you know, the environment is conducive for growth to take place. Because if, if things aren't growing, it's dying. You're either in two, that's it. There's really no... You're either growing or you're dying. There's really no in between. Okay? So soulmates and soul contracts are in place to help the spirit evolve, remember truly, and ha have these experiences here on earth. Okay? That allows them to truly experience heaven on earth. Okay, so that is the message I have for you today. This 
was so cool to do to experience i thank you for the viewers that have popped in sent some balloons okay wrote in the comments i thank y'all i love y'all i thank you i'm celebrating moments with mo we're celebrating 300 subscribers guys 300 subscribers thank you you know for tuning in and uh you know for allowing me to tune into your energy as well as you like the channel um and subscribe um it's almost like a spiritual way of just bringing your energy closer okay for me so these messages feel very um personable okay um i again moments will mo will be offering personal services very soon i just gave away two 20 minute personal readings okay um i just want to grow a community where we come together and we can get some information some knowledge some 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 uh oh hold on my fault y'all i'm closing up and i forgot to teach y'all the technique so revert hold on For a contract that you are no longer wishing to experience, okay? So let's say this. You have a, a uh, contract with, uh, let's say, your what health, right? Okay, you know what? overeating, overindulging, okay, right? The technique for canceling this contract, right? So say you've been in the same cycle, you just find yourself, you taking steps forward with eating good, eating clean, da 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 and then next thing you know, circle back around and now you feel like you just overeating, you want to stop eating clean, you diving into your junk food, you eating all types of, you just overindulging and it's attached to some type of, you know, emotion, right? Or some type of healing that needs to take place. But say, you know, you've been doing that work and you just keep finding yourself coming back to that space. I call forth to the infinite creator and source. I have experienced all that I need to experience with the contractual agreement with overindulging, indulgence, with the spirit of overindulgence. I, I am commanding that this contract be void, no more. For I've learned my lesson and this no longer serves me in a positive way. Picture in your mind's eye, the contract, okay? And it being transmuted with a violet flame and you start to free yourself from these contracts with these spirits, with these entities, with these soulmates, with these beings. So this goes beyond, this goes beyond just soul mates, okay? You can use that technique to picture that contract in your mind, calling forth the infinite source creator, God, whatever that being is for you, and, and telling that I no longer need this contract with this entity, with this being, with this spirit, the spirit of abuse, I no longer need this contract. I have learned what I need to learn 
consider this void. Contract voided. Watch it be transmuted, transformed by the violet flame. Let the ashes go. God has taken it. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying you got this. You got this. Forgiveness. Forgive yourself. That is the loudest message that has been coming through. All three powers, all four powers really is forgive yourself. Forgive yourself for putting yourself in situations that led to your own hurt. Forgive the people that hurt you. Okay? And then forgive the people that had a role in hurting you. But you working on you... You healing your inner self, taking that journey, you will have everything you could ever imagine. The love, the family, the money, the house. So it starts with you and really honoring you the royal tea, that bloodline that you carry, okay? So, yes, guys, this is all I have for you today. I want to thank you for joining Moments with Mo. <laughs> First live, okay, interactive tarot situation that went on today. I'm really proud of myself. You know, we got a pet or... We got to pat ourselves on the back. We need to do that, okay? And we need to make it, okay? We need to celebrate us. Celebrate you. Celebrate the movement that you have been, you've been moving and grooving and shaking and celebrate you. Celebrate you, okay? Smash and hit that like button. This reading, this message, this is timeless. Whenever you see it, whenever you tap into it, it is timeless. Time does not exist time has always been an illusion they have always messed with our perception of time this is why we have leap years why you know there used to be 13 months in a year why all the days and the months are not the same because they mess with illusions of time okay so this message finds you when it needs to find you and if you're here it has found you so I'm sending you so much love. I'm sending you healing. I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you joy, happiness, freedom. Okay, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. It is yours. It is yours. It is yours. You claim it. You claim it. Okay? Don't be scared to look at yourself. Okay? I really had to do that. And those that go to the journey that really look at themselves, all the aspects of themselves, and we're still healing. We're still healing. We're not perfect. We're not clear. No, there's still things that's being transmuted, but I can catch myself quicker. I can G-check myself quicker and it keeps me in alignment more. It keeps me sharp. Okay. So